All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Quest X. I'm back once again. I want to talk about Keith one time Thurman. I wasn't able to upload any videos on Keith Thurman for whatever reason. Every time I did a video yesterday and I tried to upload it, it just really wasn't working out. So, I want to give my thoughts. Uh, he will be back in January. Uh, that's great news. Everybody knows I am a huge Keith uh, Thurman fan. I respect Keith Thurman, not just for what he does in the ring. I know a lot of people feel he's he's kind of deviated from one time, uh, but I think that's a natural process that happens with a lot of fighters uh, as they move up in competition. The chins get better, you know. You got to adapt and find better ways to win. Uh, Keith Thurman is definitely something that goes like unlooked by Keith. Uh, I think Keith can make adjustments. He makes adjustments really good. And uh, just one more thing I respect about him, but more importantly, I. I you know, to me, I know a lot of people challenge Keith Thurman's heart, like his fire for fighting. And I've been on the record as saying he has to show me that he wants to be a fighter. Okay? And that is true. But I don't think he has a lack of fire, that inside fire to fight. I think what it is with Keith, Keith wants, doesn't want to be defined by boxing. And unfortunately, this is... is a grid nose, uh, tough fight lifestyle. And if you are not fully committed to it, it will translate in the ring. Hold on one second, let me turn down. I'm playing Grand Theft Auto 5, that's Franklin. Uh, but Keith Thurman has to, he's got to remain and be able to close off everything else and focus on the sport of boxing and I know that's incredibly you're asking an incredibly large amount for a man who just got married he's out trying to become a Shaolin monk I mean I can't get mad at Keith though like <laughs> let's be honest okay and maybe this is one of the reasons why I gravitate towards Keith Thurman uh, as a as a man you know personally everybody wants a sense of inner peace Everybody wants a sense of, uh, of understanding and knowing where they belong in the universe. And to me, Keith Thurman, he's only doing publicly what we all do internally. And whether you want to admit it or not, it's the truth. So I respect Keith for, you know, he taking the jokes. He gets ripped on a daily basis about it. But you know what? He's a good man and I respect him for it. The elbow situation, the the, the, the the sparring video, all were not good looks on Keith Thurman's part. And I believe he knows that. I believe he understands it. Um, but he's got to come back. If he, Right now, too much has happened in this year. Uh, the solidification of Earl Spence Jr. as a legit um, welterweight contender. Well, not a, not a contender anymore, but a champion now. I just got to be honest, as a Keith Thurman fan, Earl Spence is his Sergey Kovalev. He's going to have to beat uh, Sergey Kovalev, <laughs> and, and a.k.a. Earl Spence Jr. He's going to have to do it, all right? It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a walk in the park. But I am one of the believers in Keith. I've seen in Keith Thurman's his game. He can make the adjustments necessary to beat Earl Spence. It's going to be close and tight as hell, but he can do it. I'm not like some of the other people who are doubting Keith Thurman just because they just, for whatever reason, they don't like him. Maybe they don't like his ponytail. Maybe they don't like, I don't know, his, him wanting to be a Shaolin monk. I don't know. Oh, wait. No, no, because uh, my brother, a Black Fight fan, TV, he was talking about him playing flutes and, and all that. <laughs> like, okay. And I know the Black Fight fan has a good heart, and he's coming from it from a, as a boxing fan, and he's just clowning. But there are some other people on here who I've heard do videos. I understand your frustration with Keith Thurman. He's not your prototypical fighter or a person you would think is a fighter. But don't let that discount. The man's got skills and he's good enough to beat any of the top welterweights. Um, I damn sure give him a hell of a lot better chance than that, that scrub and Danny Garcia. Right? Like, I mean, think about the large contingent of Danny Garcia fans comparative to Keith Thurman fans. I think it's a travesty. Okay? And, and to me, did he did Keith Thurman show you 
his skills are light years ahead of Danny Garcia. It, it makes no sense to me when I think about it in correlation to fan bases. Why certain fans gravitate towards certain, towards certain people. And I think that's because, again, Keith Thurman's just a different type of man. He's a different breed. All right? So it is what it, it is. What it is. But this video is intended to be a message from me to Keith Thurman and that Keith Thurman, brother, you need to come back fully committed. If ever there was a, a fight, even this tune-up, it's going to be a tune-up fight. You need to be impressive. You need to even, you, you might have a little ring rust, all right? You might, uh, you know, your elbow is going to be, you're going to test things out. But you need to show that you have that will and that drive to be anybody in the ring, okay? And I know you can be anybody at 147. I truly, truly, truly believe that. I know some people think, you know, we live in a time of fanboyism. And just like I know that there is a strong contingent of fans who believe Earl Spence will be and beat everybody at 147, I feel Keith Thurman can beat everybody at 147. He's shown his versatility in being able to handle uh, pressure fighters, counter punchers, you know, fighters who just rely on their power, fighters who rely on their speed. He's shown the ability that he, see, when I'm looking at a fighter who I feel can dominate the division, they have to have versatility. And Keith Thurman has that. And that's why. I don't just blindly say he can beat Earl Spence Jr. because I'm a fan of this. I honestly say it because I believe he can. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you believe that, that, that are you willing to give Keith Thurman another shot? And that is, and that we live in an age where fighters who, uh, I think 78 referenced it in a video recently. He said how Floyd Mayweather's record is not in any jeopardy because these fighters are fighting once and twice a year. Yes, that is true. But living in the age of fighters, should we really get down on Keith that much? All right. He's not in the, 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 the news for the wrong reasons, okay? He's not sitting up there doing videos in Walmart like every other week, like Adrian Broner, or doing silly dumb shit like Adrian Broner. He's not doing that. Just like the, the young man Earl Spence Jr. Never, ever in the news for any crap. Earl Spence is just getting ducked by everybody. And I want to wait, and I'm going to reserve my judgment on Keith Thurman until after his return in January what he does afterwards if he comes out and he says immediately i want earl spence jr i'm gonna be very very proud of him because i want that fight for him you heard it from me i quest x want keith thurman and earl spence in that goddamn ring because that's the fighter that's keeping i think a lot of fans from jumping on the boat of keith thurman and i and even if you take that l keith I still gonna ride with you. It doesn't matter. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, what's gonna be your position on Keith Thurman returning back to boxing? Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button uh, to be notified when I upload new content. It's your boy Quest X. I'm out. Peace.